Spanish women's national team. If you take a look at the front cover of Diario As, rebellion, players resigning because Jorge Vilda remains in charge here. The Spanish FA pushing back on everything we've seen here. Gemma, this is a, a very dramatic situation that we're witnessing. Yeah, and I need to put some context here, uh, like Luis Enrique. Um, let's explain why this is happening. It's 2015. No one cares about women football in, in Spain. Uh, le, there was a, another kind of rebellion, and uh, former coach Ignacio Quereda uh, was sacked. Uh, he was accused of uh, verbal abuse, and he was later proved that, that he was uh, verbally abusing of that players. Then uh, Jorge Vilda, the actual, uh, the now coach, he steps in. He's a young coach. There was such a need of fresh air. Uh, he has no recognition. She, he has never trained before. He was just the assistant of his uh, father, uh, Angel Vilda, uh, who also was a, a coach there. Uh, so he, he did good at the beginning because he put some fresh air, he changed the methods, and, and this was this uh, growing interest in women's football in Spain. What happened seven years later? The women's football has grown so much in Spain. Uh, Spain has the best players in the world, including Alexia Putellas, uh, probably the, the next best player, Aitana Bonmati, and so much talents. In seven years, they haven't won anything. And these players, uh, one month ago, they, they complained that they don't like uh, how their injuries are being treated. Uh, they don't like the, the way they train. They feel they learn some, anything. Uh, so they try to talk to both the coach and the president of the Spanish Federation, uh, Luis Rubiales, who appoints the coach. Uh, they felt they were not heard. There, they, there was a press conference and the players couldn't almost talk. So uh, uh, now, uh, six ago, days ago, they decided to send to these emails to the Federation saying that they are uh, psychologically affected and they need something to happen. Otherwise, they cannot go to the selection. It's not true that they have resigned. That's not true. That's something uh, the Federation said, and this is not true. Um, so they felt so exposed because the Federation uh, decided to expose the private emails, the names of these uh, 15 players. And now uh, the, the national team is such a big uh, mess. Uh, what is going to happen? Honestly, I don't know, because if we, we look at the precedents, Luis Rubiales is the, the same president who, three days before a World Cup, decided to change the, the men's national coach, Julian Lopetegui, because he, he took a, a job in, in Real Madrid. So it's a, such a complicated situation. And I, uh, there is an international break in a couple of weeks. Uh, Spain actually has to, to play against the, the U.S. And by now, I, I was uh, checking on the news because it's been six days and we have no more news. The Spanish Committee for Sport, they said they will intercede. There's no update on that. And I could only see on the Spanish press uh, that they were talking of uh, who could be the substitute of these 15 players. They were making a list on the, on the rest of good Spanish players. It's a crazy situation. Uh, I don't like to compare with men because it's uh, years and years ahead. But uh, this would definitely never happen in a, in a men's national team. And the situation is really, really complex. And, and I don't think there could be an easy solution of both parts sitting and talking. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.